Well done. I'm the owner manager of Glenbrae Equestrian Centre. There's a lot of mathematics involved in the things that I do on a day to day basis. Typically my day starts with measuring out feeds for the horses. My starting point is to know what the horse weighs. We measure the horse's height, we measure the horse's length and the horse's girth. And with those factors we can get reliable estimates of what their weight might be. To measure the horse up to the wither, because the head varies a lot, so the wither is the one point that's constant. This horse's length is 1.72 metres from the point of the shoulder to the point of buttocks. So this horse's heart girth is 2.1 metres. One way you can work out the weight of a horse is by using this formula. That's the estimated weight. That's the girth of the horse and the length. This formula is a good example of a quadratic. The basic requirement in feeding a horse is you have to give it sufficient energy just to maintain itself in the paddock. The computation we hit, use here is 18 plus the weight of the horse divided by 10. Now, for our horse, that means it would be 18 plus 500 divided by 10. The result gives us 68 units of energy. The horse has to have a specific balance of two elements, calcium and phosphorus. They need to be in a ratio of five to three. The mathematics of what you have to achieve with those feeds is quite critical to have the horse have a consistent, well-balanced diet. Keep that rhythm, that's good. Mathematics is essential in designing the show jumping ring. Relax your lower body. When I'm spacing the fences, I need to know how far apart they'll be in terms of the stride that a horse takes. You need to have a sound knowledge of geometry to be able to set the jumps up in the correct positions. We need to make sure these two fences are a fixed distance apart, but just as importantly, we need to make sure that they're square. In other words, that those two form part of a rectangle. We use a principle called Pythagoras' theorem, where you square one side, square the other side, add them both together, and then work out the square root of what's left. What we're building here is a two-stride double. So the idea is that the horse should put in two strides between these two fences. There's landing, one, two, takeoff. So that was pretty good. The horse got the two strides in there pretty well. If someone's coming to try and get a job here, the level of mathematics that you'd need would be a level where students can make accurate measurements, where they could, could calculate the volumes of quantities, where they could substitute into formulas. It really isn't sufficient just to finish up with a vague understanding of what took place in Year 10. The further you pursue mathematics, the more opportunities are going to be opened up to you in the equine industry. Anybody can come in and clean a stable out and they can learn a lot about horses. But if you want an interesting job, the key thing to learn about is mathematics. Yeah, well done. <laughs>